Once in a while, Bike Network, awesome, awesome group. It, it was about networking and meeting other bikers and just going out and enjoying ourselves. We love, we love motorcycles, that's pretty much what it comes down to. It has evolved into something that I don't necessarily know that Bray and Eddie really thought it was going to be as big as it is. And it brings us together. You meet a lot of new people that enjoy the same passions you do. You know, it, it's just, it's a phenomenal asset. You know, it, it's a great group of guys and gals. They might look like scary people, but they're like literally the, the best people in the world, you know? So it's, it's a great community. The event today is a charity ride for the Love Holds Life Foundation for Children's Cancer. The Hudson Valley Biker Network and myself and my team, uh, we offer to help out in any way that we can. And we're bikers, so the best thing for us to do is do a bike run. You know, with the fantastic uh, amount of membership that we have and the quality of members that we have, we were able to bring out a lot of bikers in support of Love Holds Life. Eddie helped, he put the flyer together, he encouraged us to just push this ride through this year so we can help out these children, and he's uh, helping us get a ride out there every year, and it's awesome what he's doing, and he brought a lot of people today, so we're very thankful to Hudson Valley Bikers Network for uh, spreading the word, to help spreading awareness so we can help children uh, like Dylan and Trevor who are here today. My name is Eddie Ramirez and I am one of the co-founders of the Hudson Valley Biker Network. I got started riding motorcycles because a neighbor of mine had a uh, dirt bike. I asked him if he could teach me to ride it, so he gave me a quick crash course uh, on how to ride it, and it was really, literally like a crash course. Within five minutes of jumping on the bike, I think I, I ran through somebody's front yard. Um, I almost hit their car, I almost took out a mailbox. My name is Ray Zarcon and I am the co-founder of the Hudson Valley Biker Network. Like maybe a lot of others, I was introduced uh, to the world of motorcycles by my dad. I used to hold onto the handlebars and uh, he put me on the tank and we would go through the woods with his friends. The Hudson Valley Biker Network got started because a friend of mine you know, he said, there's this new thing online called Facebook. Maybe you want to look into that. Maybe you can, you know, maybe attract some people through that, through this new platform. So I did. I started the Hudson Valley Biker Network in 2009 and um, just use it as a, as a vehicle to, you know, to reach out to other bikers in the area uh, to get together to go for rides. I attended an event up in Saugerties, New York. Uh, it was hosted by Ray Zarcone. Eddie and I met through uh, an event that I had actually put together, which was called the Terrence O'Neill Memorial Motorcycle Ride. While at this event, you know, I told Ray that, you know, I have this biker page online. The next time he does this event, that he should post it on the Hudson Valley Biker Network page so that everybody sees it. So he was really interested in it, and he started throwing ideas at me. And, I'm, you know, I, I said, oh, I like that idea. You know, I'll throw, throw an idea back at him. He says, oh, I like that idea, too, you know. So he says, I want to work with you on this page. So as our page continues to grow and we uh, continue to get more members, um, you know, there's lots of interest about, you know, getting together during the week and not just on the weekends uh, doing events. So um, we've actually helped uh, local venues uh, create bike nights. The benefit of a bike night is to just get people together and, and you know, talk about motorcycles and just be around bikes and, you know, for some people that's a therapy I know that for myself you know I just need to be around the scene you know I need to be around other bikers and talk about motorcycles and that for me that's therapy that's therapeutic you know 99% of bikers are great people who want to do good things for their community. I want to kind of get away from the stigma that all 
bikers are rough, rugged, leather chains, you know, and, and mean people. We're not. What a lot of the community, the older community, didn't realize that when bikers started riding motorcycles, they thought they were all bad. Everybody can change every day, you know? Sure, there, it's a hard road, and you can talk to any biker, and they can tell you the, the stories of what their life was before. For me, it's PTSD that I have from Iraq. That actually is a very good uh, therapy uh, tool. So, yeah, bikes for us, is, it just quiets the noise in our heads. You know, we, we want to make sure that that is one of our most important messages to the community. Uh, you know, that we are always willing to help. We are always willing to be out there, um, you know, working together uh, to help our communities. Uh, our first ever sponsor was Sage Law. Um, he was a, he's my neighbor, a good friend of mine. It, him being the first sponsor opened my eyes to the possibilities of now, you know, getting other people to, to, to sponsor. And so I reached out to some of the, uh, I'm a Harley guy, so I reached out to some of the local Harley dealerships. And from there, other sponsors started, started coming and started knocking on our door. We wanted to kind of grow the shop, and we seen that they have a pretty big, extensive website you know, they might have things in there where somebody asks for, you know, what's a good shop to get a tire changed at? And we thought that would be a good avenue for us to kind of plug into. And uh, when we met Eddie, he was rock solid guy. And uh, we said, you know what, this is going to be a good relationship. And after a couple of years, it turned into a friendship. So the last ride of the year is the Hudson Valley Biker Network sponsor appreciation ride. If there's any type of charity that we can um, place in as a component of that ride, we'll do that as well. My wife came to me just a couple of weeks ago and said that one of her friends had, uh, their son just recently was diagnosed with bone cancer and he's only 11 years old. So she asked me, can we do something? I said, absolutely. I said, we've got the ride coming up on the 18th. I said, I'll talk to Eddie. Let's, let's make it a, you know, a co-ride. It's a sponsor appreciation but it, there's a benefit attached to it. It's going to start at the Smokin' Pony in Saugerties, New York. Uh, from there, we'll do about a 100-mile loop around um, Greene County and Sullivan Counties um, and back to Smokin' Pony. Yeah, I 
just wanted to thank the Hudson Valley Biker Network for the charity ride and support of my son Kyle. Um, it has meant the world to us that the community and everybody are coming together on his behalf. Um, and the funds that were raised for him with, through the ride and to the Stone Pony and John for helping out with the event as well. It has meant the world to us and I appreciate it. What I love about motorcycles is the freedom that it gives me. It's my therapy. It's what I um, use to get away from everyday life and reality in general. I can't imagine what my life would be without motorcycles. Yeah.